Good evening. There is no doubt that prayer is something that we all need. When Senator Morrell asked me if I would give the invocation, I thought this is going to be tough. What could I say? What words? How could I pray? How should I? And then it came to me. The disciples went to Jesus and asked him, how do we pray? And he responded and taught them the Lord's Prayer. So I want to recite the Lord's Prayer with the little reflections in between, if you would allow me to do that. Would you please bow your heads? Our Father, who art in heaven, Yes, Lord, we know and believe that you are on your throne. Even though events are beyond our control, we trust and believe that you are sovereign and in control. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, although your will is being done in heaven, it is not being done on earth. We live in a broken world. This world is never one that you planned, and therefore we seek a time when your will will be done on earth. Give us this day our daily bread. Lord, we know all too well that tomorrow is not promised. So we pray for those who mourn and ask that you give them comfort. We pray for our first responders and ask that you give them strength and peace. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Right now, forgiveness is hard, but then I see your hands and feet. I'm reminded of my own sins and the hurt and pain that I have caused others. I'm reminded of forgiveness that I never deserved. You ask that we forgive as we have been forgiven, which brings healing for your wounds and for ours. And lead us not into temptation, the temptation to retreat and live in fear, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. You are sovereign, you are on your throne. And all those who agree, please say amen. Thank you, Lynn. Would you please join me now in welcoming Senator Mike Morrell. Well, uh, you find some pretty good food out there, so I hope you're going to enjoy yourself. Yeah, this week has been sort of bittersweet. You know, the bitterness is uh, things that we saw happen. Um, my wife and I uh, went to a few vigils. Uh, we shared with... Uh, a young lady whose husband worked here and uh, she lost her husband and he left behind a uh, their 20 month old daughter and in the meantime that was her birthday that day too so it's like it it was uh, I know what it means now to sort of bear one another's burdens but the, the the sweetness of this is our community came together and did that during this turmoil, the things that I saw as our first responders and the professionalism of the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department as well as the San Bernardino uh, City was just, uh, it, it, our city came together, our community is one, uh, and, and I am just glad that these people serve us. And also there's been a number of prayer vigils that I've been able to go to, and it's neat to see our community coming together and uh, asking for God's help to heal our land. So. Um, Though we've had a tough week, um, I believe there's always hope um, because there's still a lot of great people in America who love our country. And so in this week, as we think about Christmas, uh, Assemblyman Mark Stein North, myself, and uh, Supervisor Rutherford just to, again, welcome you here. We want you to enjoy your time and uh, be grateful and take time to uh, spend time with our families over this Christmas season. And again, thank you very much for being here. We are truly grateful that you, our friends, came out to be here this evening with us. So thank you. Thank you, Senator. And please welcome our other co-host tonight, Assemblyman Mark Stein North. Good evening. I'm, I am amazed at the turnout tonight. I know we've all had a very challenging 
week and a half, but as you've heard already, I am so impressed with the resilience of our community. The way that we have all come together, the way that we are unified, the way that we are very focused on persevering and coming out of this tragedy stronger and more united. And our first responders, could we not have a more professional group of first responders than we have in San Bernardino County? Unbelievable people. We have led the nation and the whole nation has proved to show that the public safety structure of our county is the best we will find in California. And I am honored to be a member supporting them. I'm honored to serve you as your state assembly member. And I do represent San Bernardino, Rancho, Redlands, Highland. So I, I'm kind of torn between Rancho Fire and Rancho Police. So I know Fontana won last year, but you gotta go with Rancho Fire Tri-Tip. That's all I gotta say. So just remember where you're voting. But thank you for coming out tonight. God bless you and Merry Christmas.